a while back I created a video on how to match colors from a logo inside Gran Turismo Sport and you can always find the correct HSV values on the internet but if it's a user created sticker then the problem is you have no idea if the user used the correct color code so here I'll go more in depth with the color picker tool and what the HSV values mean and I'll start with creating a shape on top of the color that I want to copy so the color picker tool has H, S, and V values. H stands for hue, S for saturation, and V for value or brightness. H would show the color on the color bar here on top from left to right. Zero on the left and 100 on the right. Saturation is how much color there is on the paint. So if you have it at zero, it's going to be desaturated. If you have it at 100, it's going to be very saturated. And the V value is your brightness level. It goes from zero at the bottom, which is dark, all the way to 100, which is very bright on the square. The circle is white right now because the saturation is at zero. If I push the saturation to 100, it's going to show full red. If I push the saturation somewhere around 50, it's going to be pink or pale red. So V is for brightness and I'm going to move it a bit down so you can see the, the crosshair more. So 100 is on the top and 0 is at the bottom. So when I start copying colors, one thing I make sure of is that the U and the, the saturation values are at zero and the brightness value is at 100. Then I start moving that value, uh, that brightness value down one, a few notches at a time until I'm satisfied that the, the brightness is the same as the color that I'm trying to copy. So on this particular example, it looks like I'm um, happy with 44 being the brightness, somewhere around this value, 40 to 46. Mm, I'll stick with 42. Now I want the color to be somewhere around this area because the sticker is a bit bluish green and I push the saturation first all the way to the right and then I look for a hue that's a bit more bluish than it is green. I start with the value of around 50 to 53. Again the main point is to make the color disappear into the background and right now I'm a bit happy with around 52 but it's still showing up so I might want to bring down the the brightness a bit and 38 or 39 I think would be a, a good value for brightness because it's almost not visible on the logo anymore And if you're trying to match a color from a unique logo like I'm using here on this uh, video, the problem is there's no way around it. You really have to match the color within the game. The color that you pick is going to show up on the color history but I recommend you still write down the HSV value so that you can use that for future projects.